Here we are, alive and in the bedroom for a small tour. Um, I guess I should kick the bucket first. <laughs> uh, first thing we're looking at here from uh, Jinx Proof is um, nine pound surprise. Um, love to know what the surprise is, and uh, yeah, can't wait to find out. <laughs> Uh, again, this is an oil coir that's kind of uh, not doing that great, or not good at all, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna work through it and uh, move on over to some new coir. So, over on this table, we're looking at from Hufu Seed Company. Uh, this is Sky Temple. Out of the five so far, we do have one female that I've topped. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this bug around to go. Moving on down the row from... What do I got here? Yep, from Jinx Proof. We have 9 pound punch. And, uh, yeah, there's quite a difference in uh, all three of these plants. But uh, we'll definitely go with it and see what kind of dankness we can pull. And moving on down the line here from Jordan of the Islands, this is their chemo. A lot shorter plants, looking pretty decent, pretty bushy. And uh, yep, yeah, right here we have one uh, chocolate skunk cutting here. Uh, rooted out pretty quick in the uh, new coir, which is awesome. And now we're moving on to, um, I guess the F2s of the Z1 here. Uh, we have one that has some issues, and yeah, I'll get back to that one in now in a second. But as for the rest, they are doing phenomenal. And looking freaking awesome. Nice and bushy. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too bushy in flower. <laughs> Could end up with a little issue, maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, back to this one right here. Um, earlier on we did have some uh, thrip issues. And actually, to be honest with you, I didn't really get rid of them. I uh, definitely was slacking a fair bit on doing the treatments properly and on time. So, uh, yeah, the thrips kind of continued a bit. And, um, yeah, this is the reason why I'm actually bringing you to this video is because this plant is actually good. We're going to chop this one. Because uh, when it came down to it and when I started noticing evidence of thrip damage, that was the only plant. And uh, this tells me that, uh, pro science or not, <laughs> um, that the other ones aren't as susceptible. Or maybe it's just this particular plant is just not uh, capable of defending itself in the right way, we'll say. Uh, but as you can see here, it's also suffering from. Uh, little bit of food issues and such but uh, yeah we're gonna keep well the rest of them going this one's definitely gonna be gone very shortly and uh, yeah we'll go from there well, I thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this little bit and we'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>